Hello everyone, happy 2023. This is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I come live every week to show you what I've been working on in my craft room. And tomorrow, January 5th, is an exciting day in the Stampin' Up! world because we have the release of not one, but two catalogs. Good morning, Sue. Thanks for joining. So tomorrow, we'll be able to order from the January through April 2023 mini catalog. Hi, Kay. Thanks for popping in. Um... And then we'll also be able to earn a free stamp sets and designer series paper from the Celebration um, brochure. Celebration runs um, through February 28th. For each purchase of $50 or $100, choose, um, choose free stamp sets or designer series papers. And um, I remember when I first started stamping, I loved Celebration. I would save up all my birthday money, I'd save up all my Christmas money, and then make one great big purchase and get all the Celebration stuff. So, um, so that's always an exciting um, time for us. Oh, thanks for popping in from Ohio. Um, well, I hope you're having an awesome day, um, morning there. All right, I'm going to pop you down to the workspace and I'll show you what I have been working on in my craft room this week. It's a combination of um, celebration items and a stamp set that um, we can start getting tomorrow. Good morning, Colleen. Thanks for jump, jumping on. Hi, April. Thanks for joining in. All right, let's get started here if I can press all the right buttons. Um, so... I have a friend whose last name is Goose, G-O-O-S. Hi, Patricia, thanks for joining. And so when I saw this silly Goose stamp set, hi, Jean, thanks for joining. I thought, oh my gosh, she'll just love this and wouldn't it be fun to make her a set of, a set of cards. Her birthday is um, this week, I think Friday or Saturday. And um, so as demonstrators, we can pre-order some of these items to play with um, to get ready for the new catalog. So I, that's what I've been doing this week was I just sat down and started making some really quick and easy cards that I could throw in the mail to her. And so while I made one for her, I made one for me. Thanks so much for sharing, Patricia. I appreciate it. So just a cute um, photo polymer stamp set. Um, that I've been playing with. And I'm, I also paired it with Stampin' Up's celebration item, Day at the Farm. It comes in 12 by 12 sheets. Um, I've cut them into six by six for a paper share. Um, but I thought that many of the sheets paired themselves well um, with this with this stamp set, there's also a stamp set that has dies that will cut out all these cute little animals. But I thought I would just share the the paper with you to sh show you some of the set, um, some of the sheets. Now you can earn this free with a fifty dollar order during celebration. So starting tonight at like um, eleven twelve oh one a.m., it is really cute, and especially when you you know when you have the dies. So. I'll show you the paper, then I'll show you my cards, and then we'll make a couple. Um, so that's the one side. Um, so if you, you know, if the farm isn't, if those animals aren't your thing, there's always another side. Um, veggies with that. And this is part of a larger uh, 12 by 12 sheet, um, but this is what it looks like when it's cut down. So the 12 by 12 would be great for, um, for a scrapbook page. Good morning, Shannon. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Glad you're here with me on this Wednesday morning. Um, there's my goose. And then just some chicken wire. I thought that was cute. Um, farm scene. And um, I like that sheet as well. So these, they're not all... Uh, there, if you love cows, here's your sheet um, and some landscapes. So that's that. Um, I 
still have my paper share open. Um, if you need details on that, you can get all the designer series papers in the mini catalog and celebration catalog for $55 plus, um, plus free shipping. Not free shipping. Whoa, whoa, $10 shipping. I'm sorry. All right. So here's the first card um that i made so it you hi don thanks for joining it uses that um designer series paper um the day at the farm and the silly goose a silly goose told me it's your birthday again you'll notice that these layouts are very simple um easy to reproduce and easy to mail something that she can just take out of her stash when she gets these cards and put them in the mail um I also loved this thank you. Again, there's the, uh, the designer series paper and I cut out the little pieces so I could at least see the geese in there. Um, <clears throat> hi Kay, thanks for joining. So that's another one. I think I made six total. I thought that's, this one was really super cute too. Sending gaggles of good wishes. Um, and then just colored them. Just a little bit of coloring on the goose. Geese, mo a lot of geese are just white, so I felt that I didn't really have to color the geese. Hi, Kathy. Um, and then I just picked out some markers and blends and um, used some, some of my tried and true layouts. Again, here's that. Uh, this one is cute. It took my husband like um, a few minutes to figure this out. Um, the, that it says goose bumps. Um, we laughed that it took him a little bit to, to figure that out. But um, again, that day at the farm designer series paper, I thought some of the pieces worked really well. So it doesn't only have to go with that one stamp set and bundle in the catalog. Um, and then I switched to a different designer series paper, the um, Dandy, Des Dandy Designs. 12 by 12 designer series paper is uh, free with a $100 order. And um, these are two of the papers in there. Um, and I thought that it just so cute. The goose colored the goose in her little um, inner tube in the water, sending a big honk and thanks. Um, so I, I just was having, it was just fun to ha sit down and take a brand new stamp set and some new papers and figure out what I was going to do with them and then be able to um, give them to, to my friend um, with that same last name. And then here's the last one in her little packet. Um, again, the um, Dandy Designs 12 by 12 designer series paper. And there's a little bit of that fresh freesia glimmer paper in there too. So, um, so super cute. All right. So the cards that I just going to give you some measurements for them today. This is the first one. Um, and I used a, um, I'm losing my words today. Been on vacation and eating too much food for too long. Um, this is four and a quarter, um, by 11 and then I just scored it at five and a half um, sometimes this sometimes this weird opening hi Lisa not weird but this alternate opening throws some people off they don't know how to open the cart but I like sometimes I like to do that the other pieces that I have here are um, um, melon mambo that's a base and that measures five and a quarter by three and then we have our piece of designer series paper now i'm starting to hoard these too oh watching from iowa thanks lisa for joining how are things in iowa today and actually that's where my friend lives with the last name of goose she lives in iowa so this one's two and three quarters um by five that's that piece right there then i have a granny apple green that's three by three and i have a stitched square that came comes from the stylus shapes and that's about two and three quarters by two and three quarters and then just some strips if you you know when I cut my eight and a half by eleven basic white cardstock um, to make five and a quarter by four pieces these little strips are always left all these little scraps and if you save them they're really good um, for these little sentiment pieces so like very um very minimal supplies 
but um, they pack a punch. I mean, I'm just so super cute. If you're looking for something a little um, lighthearted and fun, I mean, I don't know that I would have normally purchased this, but um, it's it's been fun. And the sayings are so, oh, and Jean's from North Dakota. Where are you from in North Dakota? I grew up in Fargo. Lived there for a long time. I went to school in Moorhead um, and Ohio. Everybody's from, I'm glad that everyone's joining us. And I hope you had a good holiday wherever you were. Um, so I'm using Memento ink because I'm going to color with the Stampin' Blends. So I'm just going to give that a good, um, make sure that sinks in. So easy peasy there. Um, let's go ahead and stamp that sentiment while we're at it. A silly goose told me it's your birthday and that is in Melon Mambo. So I'll get that. And I just, I mean, if I do it right the first time, that's why I love these photopolymer stamps. You can see right through so I can, I normally get them straight. So, um, I'm just going to stick this in the corner here. Give it pressed down evenly and firmly, and then we'll deal with this a little bit later. Good morning, Tammy. Thanks for joining. All right, let's color this cute little goose with um, the Stampin' Blends. Um, they're really good. Hi, Kathy. They're good for blending. They're good for coloring. Um, and I didn't. I didn't blend. I just. I'm just gonna color. Um, one of them I did try to do some blending with the balloon. Um, oh, Council Bluffs, Iowa. All right. Oh, I used to live in um, Lincoln, Nebraska, too. So we weren't too far from you in Omaha. Fun. There we go. I, I don't know if I can see if I can talk and color. Oh, Beulah. Beulah. I... Um, I don't know if I've been there, but I've been close. My dad used to hunt out in the Badlands. And then I'm just gonna do the little goose's hat in Granny Apple Green. Um, oh, then you can just, you can just, um, you can just be as creative and any colors that you have um, will, will work. And then I added the Daffodil Delight, the beak, the beak and his, I don't know, his flippers, his, anyway, all right, so there we go, very, um, like I said, very, but I am a clean, clean and simple stamper, I like, I like to make things that are easy to reproduce, um, and that are flat, so you can mail them, so I'm just going to put that square on top of the granny apple green. Um, and put the, I'm using the stamp and seal plus, that's my favorite um, adhesive. Have you guys seen the new catalogs yet? What's your favorite thing? What are you, what can't you wait to, Order tomorrow and earn free during celebration. I'd like to hear what your favorite things are. I have so many. Um, but I know a lot of the catalogs are in the mail. And if you haven't gotten one and you're not working with another demonstrator, give me a shout and I'll put a packet in the mail. All right. Um, Easy peasy, and then I didn't even pop this up. I was mailing Christmas cards and realized, oh, from Jamestown, where the where the big buffalo is. Been there a lot. All right. Um, the share a milkshake. Ah, that is cute. There are so many. Oh, Lucky Clover. Yep. Um, how about the bunny? The the bunny and the bunny punch. Um, all right. There's our goose. Again, flat, because I was mailing some Christmas cards and they I had used a bunch of dimensionals and it just got to be so bulky. Um, um, so now I just, I'm just going to take the snips and um, make a little, 
not go too crazy. That's not really what I wanted to do, but I'll do it this way. Okay. And um, grab, grab my adhesive. And for this, I'm going to put a glue dot on one end and then a mini dimensional on the other um, just to, to even it out a little bit. And then it just goes right down here in the corner like so. Um, oh yeah, the farm bundle. It's uh, and to be able to cut out all those animals and um, it'll be fun to see what everybody makes with all of that. And then of course I always have to have, even though you could write on the yellow, now I've started to, or the Daffodil Delight, I've started to put the, the white piece in the middle so you can, um, all right, there we go. Um, there's the first card. Again, very clean and simple, but apps just um, I needed a bunch of things I could re reproduce. Um, so let's bring in the second card today. Oh, darn, I'm sorry you're having issues, Kathy. Um, so again, I think one of my go-to um, shapes is the stylish shapes. So I just cut a circle with that. And I'm using my Stampin' Pierce mat um, because um, of the fo using the photopolymer, I usually um, you get a I think I get a really a better um, a better image. Um, so I'm inking that up again with my memento so I can color with my stampin' blends, and um, the little goose just goes right in the middle. The little goose holding the thank you sign. Um, and then the pieces for this one, again, um, I used the Daffodil Delight base and scored it in half. And because from one eight and a half by 11 sheet, you can get, um, you can get two, two greeting cards. Um, and this designer series paper piece, good morning, Kathy, is five and a quarter by four. And then the little sheet with the goose on it uh, measures five and a quarter by one and a half. So out of um, um, out of that twelve by twelve sheet, you can get really a good amount of of cards. So um, let me grab my adhesive. I was, it was just here. I've been using it. And I'll just put this card together for you again. Um, making these cards as part of a gift pack for a friend who happens to have the, um, happens to have that same last name. And if I got really creative, I could um, take away the E. So I love to use the grid paper when lining things up with this because the I'll just um, line them up with the little um, measuring hashtags there and it gets as straight that it's going to be for me. Oh, Minnesota and snowy in Minnesota. Seems that um, a lot of, I haven't lived in Ohio and I need to, I probably need to go there, but I also lived in Minnesota in several places. Uh, where'd we live? Detroit Lakes, Thief River Falls, and Woodbury. So um, another popular place. All right. And you know what? This is this piece to color this one is um, just so easy. Um, I just grabbed the um, Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blends and just colored over that um and it doesn't with the memento ink it's very important to use the memento ink it doesn't um run or and i'm trying to color fast and trying to stay in the lines i did use that color lifter the other day when i went out of the lines but um even as an adult it's sometimes all right and then, um, actually, what I did for his beak, um, I used the uh, Mango Melody Stampin' Write marker for the small little pieces. Um, that's one of the colors in that Dandy Designs 12 by 12 designer series paper. So um, I pulled that out because we don't have that in Stampin' Blends. So adding just a little color to the beak, and um, 
makes it so it's not so overwhelming um, to color. But I've been wanting to experiment. I know we have a white watercolor pencil, and then I thought, what if you put, um, oh, what am I trying to say? Oh, Wink of Stella Ion. So stay tuned. I'm going to see what else I can, what I can make. Sometimes I just run out of time. Um, someone asked me the other day, so do you just like stamp all day? And I'm like, yes, sometimes I do. And I consider that <laughs> very fortunate. All right, bear with me while I, we all sometimes struggle with those little dimensional things and then they end up everywhere. Come on. All right, we'll just get another one, darn it. There we go. All righty, here we go. And basically, that finishes off our card. I also want to make sure that I um, put it so you can see the goose. So again, very quick, easy um, cards. And let me just review a few of the others if you jumped in late. Um, yes, yeah, stamping all day is fun. I'm like sent the, the hubby off on errands and oh, and maybe go golf, go do some things. Um, there's another one, Gaggle of Good Wishes. Um, uh, the Goosebumps, that is super cute. Um, and then sending a big honk and thanks. And you've got a friend in me. Now these, a couple of, throughout the week, these will all be on my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com. And um, I'm so excited for everyone to be able to start ordering from the um, mini catalog and earning um, from Celebration. Again, if you don't have um, your own catalogs, give me a shout, but the PDFs will be available um, online. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining me, for commenting, for um, Joining in the stamping fun, uh, I do appreciate you. Um, I am a clean and simple stamper, and I just love to um, make cards that are easily uh, reproducible and sendable. So everyone, have um, an awesome day, rest of the week and weekend, wherever you are. Lots of people from Ohio, Minnesota, um, North Dakota today, so I appreciate you, and we'll see you next week. Happy stamping, everyone. Bye-bye.